Good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Heath Haskins, and the reason you're searching for long and hard for the Image Search Autoit 2000, or sorry, Image Search for Autoit for Windows 7, 32-bit and 64-bit is why you're on this video. So I will show you it does work. I found it. My long search is over. Right here, I've taken a little snippet, and this is the icon that I'm going to be searching for. I hit F5. Okay. Hold on. Oh, require admin. Take that out. F5. Found it. F5. Found it. Image search for Windows 7 64-bit, and it is working. Found it. Perfect. Okay. So, what you're going to need, and where I found this, on the forums themselves, um, image search usage and explanation. Go to the very last entry and look at the very first post by this guy right here, or girl, or gal, whatever. Anyhow, the link that you're going to need is image search 2015 zip. It's going to contain these files. Credit for this goes to Centrally, Centrally, to Ken King, and to Miguel7. Thank you guys so much for actually posting this and actually getting it to work because it's been so long. Um, five years I've been searching for this, and it finally works. So, when you first get it, uh, let me go to my documents. Pausing. So when you first get the zip file, you're going to open it up, and there's going to be a folder inside. Take that folder, drop it out. Just extract it to wherever you're, uh, you're, you normally save your scripts. Inside this folder, don't worry about these two, this is me playing, right here. There's going to be two DLL files called msvcr uh, 110 and 110D. This is your uh, Microsoft uh, Microsoft Visual C resources, and they're going to be needed for um, the DLL calls. Next is the Image Search DLL X32 and the Image Search DLL X64. These are what actually gets called to do the image searches on your desktop. The file that you need is image search 2015.au3. I'll show you what it looks like here, and I'll show you what you need to do. Before you do anything, go ahead and do require admin up here at the top. All right. The reason you want to do this is because you're going to run this one time, and then it's going to pop up and ask you, do you want to allow this program to make changes to your computer? The answer is going to be yes, because you, you're going to need these four files installed. The image search 32, 64, and both of those um, Visual C resources, DLLs. Once that's done, you can go ahead and take that back out. And right down here on line 16-ish, there's going to be local B testing equals false. You can pause this video at any time if I'm going too fast. Change it from true to false. Next, go down here to the bottom of that first end if statement, and there's going to be an exit. Take out, oh, excuse me, take out the exit. Otherwise, whenever you call this program or you include it, it's going to be exiting every single time. With those modifications and with all that stuff in place, you should be ready to start your scripts. Um, here is a quick snippet of what mine looks like. Um, to take a snip image, go to start, type out snip, and you're going to get your little snipping tool. Then you can just drag like that and grab images of what you're trying to search for. Save those. Uh, save them to the same folder as your script, and then you should be able to reference them. Uh, do, 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 what is this? Do you want to save changes? No, I don't want to save changes. So, that is how to uh, get everything set up. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, put them down there in the uh, bottom. Like and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be making a lot more videos on how to use the image search. I'm also going to be answering any kind of questions that you have. Um, if you need help getting it to work, I will follow through with you guys and try and help you out the best you best I can, to the best of my abilities. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.